Okay, hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a special guest. I'm here with Emily. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm actually a special guest to you because I'm in your apartment right now. Thank you for coming. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> um, so today we're just gonna show you guys how we do like a very summery, natural, glowy makeup look. Um, summer is around the corner and exactly. Yeah. I am looking forward to it. I love doing like a bronzy fake tan. I just need to look, I need color. Yeah, me too. So, so we're kind of gonna fake it a little bit today. Um, we are craving Yeah, that. trying to get a cute little, uh, cute little look. So I really feel that I do a lot of natural makeup. I took a little preview on your videos and I saw mm -hmm. you are into natural makeup as well. So I think skincare is like one of the most important things uh, for that. I spend more time in skincare than I do uh, actual makeup same tip number one for skincare guys hydration immediately when she got here she was like we should be drinking water i was like oh my god health queen over here health queen here no i walked in with my matcha though yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like caffeine first then water mm -hmm. mm. honestly i do really feel like even when i'm tired if i drink a lot of water the next day it makes me feel like a little bit same or when you're like jet lagged yeah then especially it makes such a difference yeah so I brought two masks. I don't know this brand. Me neither. <laughs> what is it? Mask gorgeous? It just really look nice. A glowing potion hydrogel facial mask. Oh, um, I'm into this. It's gonna give us glow. That's all I, I want in life. I saw something like de-stress. De so <laughs> let's see. Wow, okay, this Whoa. is... Whoa, oh, it looks really... Oh, it's in split in half? Uh, it's two pieces? Oh my god. <laughs> should... what is oh, it's two pieces? Yeah, there's two oh my pieces. Gosh, no okay. worries, you're not breaking it. Oh, sorry. Okay, oh wait, this is the top one. Okay, this looks really cool. Oh my god. Um, what is in it? Is it rose? Or is it... Oh, I did the mouth part first. I... Oh my gosh, this feels like what I picture an actual jellyfish to feel like. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel like a jelly. It feels jelly. really good. It though. feels really good. Oh, oh my, my god. gosh, it's really cooling. I'm so into this. I didn't normally I put like face masks in the fridge, but this has been in my bag now for a little bit. Oh it feels great. Oh wait. <laughs> oh there's more? <laughs> there is more. Oh my god. What? Is that for your lips? But then we're not gonna be able to talk to each other. No, but like I see so many pieces. Wait. What is that piece for? I don't know. Do you have it? Or did I just rub it off? Like... I do have it. I have one little mini piece down there. I think it's for the lip, but then we still have two other ones. This is weird. It is weird. It's just like building an IKEA closet and then you're like, <laughs> no, I don't need to do that step. I do it later and at the end, no. I'll just you over. Oh you should have done it. IKEA furniture mm. gives me like mental breakdowns. Mm. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, yeah, we can take it off. Take it? Yeah, we do probably need a little. I feel, it does feel good, this one, though. Ooh. Oh my god, it feels really like refreshed, to be honest. Yeah. And like cooled down. Then, what I always use is this Laneige lip mask. And you guys have seen this in my favorites video. And Isn't it's actually a lip mask, but I also use it as a lip balm. And this so is you like. You can leave it on? You can leave it on, and it stays up for like Ooh. a couple of hours and it just really moisturize uh moisturize the lips <gasps> that feels really good mm -hmm. it's so wow. weird because sometimes even in new york or just wherever you are even in summer they put the air conditioning on right yeah so <laughs> you're you're like oh dry season is over and then like air conditioning everywhere and i'm just like ah it's dry again <sighs> that's true but yeah okay well let's start with let's, um let's get bronzy let's get Bronzy hair. I always like kind of just do concealer in the summer, especially. Yeah. Because I just like you don't want to be like it melts off, mm -hmm. sweaty and yeah, exactly. It's funny we ran into each other or like met for the first technically for the first time at an event. I think I came up to you and I was like, "Hi, yeah. I just started YouTube too. Be yeah. my friend." <laughs> you were probably like, "Girl, get away!" Yeah, from that me. was actually at an event. Well, you see, like I yeah. think that's a really good thing about New York and like, uh, yeah, being a model here. But um, otherwise, what is your worst like model uh, experience? <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't 
know, what would you say? You go first and then I'll think. I also go to first. Um, my words, I feel, I feel that was in Milan during shows and it can be quite rough. I feel like I, I did already like 30, 40 shows and I was with my mom, I think that time and we were, it was 3 a.m. And I was working already for like 12 hours and I was sitting at a fitting and it was 4 a.m. And then show was in the morning and then they were like, okay, you can go home. You're canceled. And I was just like, uh, like I could, I can handle that. That's fine. But after like already weeks of shows in New York and everything, you're just so tired. And I was just like, I'm over it. I think, um, oh my God, first of all, you, yeah, I'm sure like you're so tired. And I feel like when I'm tired, I'm even more sensitive. Like I can't handle stress exactly if someone just like pinches you you're like, like yeah oh, crying hysterically i feel like i have a similar story except like i had i booked this really big campaign this was only like a year ago and i i flew into the job so i red-eyed in it was mm -hmm. in milan as well actually and it was this really big fashion campaign and i was like really nervous about it i don't know why i shouldn't have flown into the job like that i should have flown in the day before but whatever and i got there and i did the fitting and everything seemed fine and then by like midday no one had shot me yet and i was like gosh this is like the easiest job ever like i'm not doing anything <laughs> And then I had all of my suitcases and everything with me too. And someone comes out and they're like, um, yeah, I think like we're good for today. Like you can just head back to your hotel and it's actually just down the block so you can walk. So I was like, oh, Aww. like at first I was confused though. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I like grabbed my suitcase, like walk to my hotel. And then my agent calls me and they're like, yeah, they booked you a flight home tomorrow. It didn't work out. And I was like, oh no, it's like Aww. the same thing. Like you just, but I felt like I flew in and you're like you're tired, tired already. And then, you know. and then you get canceled and then you're like, and you, you know, flying to Milan, that's like eight or nine hours. Like that sucks. And then yeah. you're having to fly all the way back, but it, it does happen to everyone. And that's like the nice thing. I feel you forget that like we all share those experiences. I feel like at some point. Yeah, you know, that's not only for like models. I feel that's everyone. Like, exactly. You kind of have these like rejections or like disappointment or whatever. Who always make these crazy faces? I know. Okay, here we go. Okay, so for this makeup look today, um, what we're going to use this is Maybelline bronzer palette. They have like super nice, like uh, darker colors and like highlighters. Um, we're going to use it on the eyelids and then also on the cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Are you going to start with cheeks or with the eyelid? Eyelid? Mm -hmm. Eyelids? Yeah, so I'm going to mix these colors. Yeah, same. Okay, so we just did the bronzer on our eyes. Okay, so this burgundy bar by Maybelline has super gorgeous like golden, uh, golden colors, so I'm gonna go into the golden one and I'm just going to put this in the corners just to give it like a little bit more on the eyelids. A little bit more bronze. Okay, I'm gonna go for the mascara. This is the Colossal. Oh yeah, and the great thing is that all these products are, are drugstore products, so I will also link them down below so you can take a look at it. Because I feel like we've been chatting a lot and yeah. I haven't really been <laughs> telling how our look is coming together. So what are your favorite like workouts to do? I like running and I like lifting weights and I like walking on an incline I do a lot weirdly because I always watch all of my favorite shows while I'm on the treadmill like <laughs> walking on an incline all of my shows like all but my you reality know that, TV you know the workout doesn't work as well then I know I heard that but like I need uh, it's I, I need to be like distracted on the treadmill yeah. so like if I'm doing like a longer workout which is like if I'm walking on the treadmill I just like kind of want to sweat it's not really to like it's just like to move in a so way so how many seasons have you watched on a treadmill oh my gosh so many Okay, we're gonna go back to our bronzers. What's bronze? Yeah, my for favorite our summer, summer um, 
That's another thing I did when I was in high school. I would use like fake tanner all over my body and face all the time. Do oh, you do that? Time. Like the lotions and stuff? No, I have actually, I start recently do that. Really? Yeah, I never use I never... like fake tan. But the thing is that I feel like I, as a, when I was younger, I was much more outside. So I always had this little more, uh, yeah. Yeah. Natural glow already. And now I'm just living in a city. Fake. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. So I really like actually that we use the same bronzer as like the eyeshadow because then everything kind of comes together. Yeah. I've been seeing people also use blush on their eyes lately, which is kind of cool because it's like a pinky yeah. tone, which like I like. Pink. It was funny, I read a comment today on my channel and a girl was asking, so why do you always put like concealer and like foundation on your cheeks? and to cover up your redness and then you're adding blush to it and i, I and i read the comment and i was just like that's a really good question that's a very good question <laughs> i feel like this like is a great look i'm into it i really like that we're using we're using exactly the same palette and yeah. it really looks good on a brunette can i say that this also looks good on <laughs> yes it no does. i feel like the makeup looks the makeup looks very it's nice. nice um so because it's kind of like a summery look um I'm gonna try this Super Stay Lip Pencil by Maybelline and I really like that it was kind of... Um, I love that. Like yeah. I love anything that's like a pen or pencil. like a marker or a stick. It's a little more precise than um, a lipstick I feel like. I really like this color. I know the color is, especially with that lip mask, I feel like it's yeah. like really hydrated our lips, which I feel like is so important for a good lip. It's kind of like pinkish and uh, yeah, I really like it. Cool. Okay. Pretty. Um. Then we got the. Are we gonna blush too? Oh yeah. We have to blush, right? You want you like the heavy I blush? Know. I feel a little bit because I have already the bronzer. So um, you don't need it. I'm pretty. I can't. I can't. Move okay, forward. go. <laughs> go put on. <laughs> go put on the blush. I, I don't know. I can't not wear blush. Like I feel so weird without it. Okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit of lipstick as blush, actually. Yeah, that's much easier. Do you feel like YouTube has helped your modeling career at all? Like whether it's like being behind the camera or just having a channel in general? Um, I think it has helped my modeling because for some reason I understand better now what's going on backstage. Uh -oh. Sometimes if things for video or whatever, or if like an art director would be like, oh, we do one more close up, one more this, one more option like that. I could be sometimes a little in my, I wouldn't show, but I'd be like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, and now I have more patience because I know how much effort it takes it's true. to actually produce a video, so. That's actually a really nice way to think about it. And I feel like one thing people don't know about like being a model is like how much patience it requires and like how much I'm still putting on blush, like I'm never gonna stop. Um, but that's a really nice way to think about it. Cause you're like remembering like, even if when I film my own videos sometimes and I edit them, I'm like, oh, I should have said that again. I should have done that again in a more clear way. So now we know why they are like. Why, why the, yeah. And now I have more patience and I'm like, oh yeah, of course I do it again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I get, I got you. You need yeah. more B-roll. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay. okay, highlighter. Highlighter. Um, I'm gonna put this. Yeah, so lately I'm super into the sticks because I love sticks. I love yeah. the sticks too. I think we are done. We are all done. This, this is, is our healthy, glowy, bronzy. bronzy. <laughs> Summer. Summer. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited that we're summer. Do you have summer plans? Um, not really, not yet. Do you? Okay. I'm going to Africa with my family. Oh, that's so, so yeah. fun. But no makeup there. No so. makeup. No, you don't need it. I did that last no summer. Makeup, so. Well, Emmy, thank you so much. Thank for you for having me. Being on my channel, uh, doing the makeup look with me. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to follow Emmy as well. Pop up here. And if you have any questions for me or Emily, then don't hesitate. Put it in comment down below and I will answer all of them. So have a good day. Bye guys. Bye bye.